We begin today's campaign drama with the latest poll controversy in this political season in India. Prime Minister Modi has hit out at the opposition Indi bloc. Modi has underlined that the fight in 2024 is between those who want to destroy quote unquote Shakti and those who worship them. Prime Minister Modi's comments come on the heels of Congress MP Rahul Gandhi's, where he said, and I'm quoting, we are fighting against a Shakti. जहां से इंडी अलायंस ने अपनी घोषणा पत्र जाहिर किया और उन्होंने कहा है कि उनकी लड़ाई शक्ति के खिलाफ है हिंदू धर्म में शक्ति शब्द होता है हम शक्ति से लड़ रहे हैं एक शक्ति से लड़ रहे हैं मेरे लिए हर मां शक्ति का रूप है हर बेटी शक्ति का रूप है और मेरी इन माताओं बहनों की तरफ से माताओं बहनों आपको मैं शक्ति के रूप में पूजा करता हूं अब सवाल उठता है वो शक्ति क्या है जैसे किसी ने यहां कहा राजा की आत्मा ईवीएम में है सही है सही है राजा की आत्मा ईवीएम में है हिंदुस्तान की हर संस्था में है मैं भारत मां का पुजारी हूं मैं आप शक्ति स्वरूपा सब माता बहन बेटियों का भी पुजारी हूं और जिन्होंने कल शिवाजी पार्क में इंडी अलायंस ने अपना घोषणा पत्र शक्ति को खत्म करने के लिए किया है मैं इस चुनौती को स्वीकार करता हूं और मैं इन शक्ति स्वरूपा माताओं बहनों की रक्षा के लिए जान की बाजी लगा दूंगा Now to discuss this further we are being joined by political campaign advisor Dilip Cheryun from New Delhi. Mr Cheryun welcome to Vyon. I want to ask you do you think the use or misuse of the word shakti can detrimentally affect congress's prospects in a country like India where 80% of us are Hindus? I think that the misuse of the word is a further proof of an inability with the language. and i think that rahul gandhi is ill advised when it comes to the choice of certain words like this and there is no doubt that his ability to put his foot in it is likely to result in losses as far as the congress is concerned where it could actually make gains his concept is thought out in english but when expressed in hindi it sounds extraordinarily uh, attackable just right to be you know taken into pieces by a prime minister who understands the use of language and the metaphors that matter to india mr cherian it's just one month to go for the elections at a time like this mistakes like these cannot be spared especially by the voters how do you think this could affect the india alliance you know what needs to be seen is how mr modi has pressed the appropriate buttons he has used a kind of um mnemonic for women by naming them as shakti he has endorsed the fact that he represents the hindu psyche which you referred to and most importantly he has used the opportunity to mock at the principal opposition leader i think in terms of campaigning this is brilliant strategy this is just what works for mr modi and this is just what works against the indi alliance all right mr cherian thank you so much for speaking with us here on vion thank you for all the latest news download the vion app and subscribe to our youtube channel